Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Sapporo on the island of Hokkaido in northern Japan. And of course, Japan is known for seafood, but Hokkaido is known within Japan for seafood. So this morning, we are going to the Sapporo fish market, the main market. We're gonna buy a bunch of seafood, hopefully eat some crab. Crab is very well known in Hokkaido as well, especially in the winter time. And yeah, it is a cold morning, but I am ready to eat some seafood and we're walking to the market right now. It's like a 10 minute walk from the subway station, uh, but this is the beginning of the outer market. There's a couple of very, very famous restaurants uh, seafood restaurants, Hokkaido seafood restaurants in this area. Uh, and it's just the morning now, but already starting to get kind of busy. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's getting really cold. But to my understanding, uh, the wholesale market is, it's actually on the other side of the road. Um, but that's not really open to the public and that really takes place early in the morning or even late at night. But so then right now we are in the outer market, uh, which is the retail part of the market where you can come, where you can shop for food, where you can shop for uh, fish and seafood and crabs. Uh, and then they also have restaurants here as well. All of a sudden it's starting to snow. Okay, I think we need to eat a, we need to order a crab ASAP. Do you have hanasaki also? Hanasaki. hanasaki. Oh, that one is hanasaki. hanasaki. What is the season now? Hanasaki is season? Hanasaki. Oh, this one is hanasaki. Fresh uh, one? Hanasaki. 1.7 kilo? 1 kilo. Oh, 6,000. Okay. Yeah, like that one. That one is like three kilo? Big size. Big size. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, how many kilo is it? This one is one Just. Just. 34,000. Uh, steam. Uh, grilled. Oh, steam grilled. Uh. Okay. Putting on the yellow gloves. Okay. I think so. Uh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, like this. Oh, okay. I couldn't decide between the king crab and the hanasaki crab, so we decided to get them both. Oh, this is the Hanasaki boil. Hanasaki yeah. boil, yeah. Doban, Doban. Hey, King Crow. Yeah. You can go. Boil. Yeah. My lens is all fogging up, uh, but the two different crabs, the hanasaki is going to be completely boiled and then the king crab is going to be half boiled, half grilled, but I think it fully goes boiled first. Oh, that is, this is a, an aromatherapy um, spa session. I love crab spa session. For the red king crab, we're going to get it two different ways, half boiled, half uh, grilled. Uh, but he first pre-blanched it just for a few minutes. Uh, they can cut it in half. Half of it he threw back into the boiling cauldron, into the boiling sink of water. And then the other half is going to go on the grill and 
yeah. two different ways. King crab is ready, they're chopping it up, and I think the Hanasaki crab should be ready very, very soon. Okay. Okay, the Hanasaki crab is ready. Actually, that took a while to boil, at least like 20 minutes to boil. It's so steaming, so hot, so fresh. Oishi. Oishi. Hanasaki. Hanasaki. The Hanasaki crab is actually extremely meaty and as soon as you pull off the head, like the eggs are just sprouting and the roe and the meat. Um, and then they, yeah, they beautifully played it. They cut everything with the scissors so that all the, all the shells, you just like, it's just, fr they free the meat. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot warmer in here. And the crabs are ready, both of them. All right, sitting down. We still, okay, we got the, the, the one that they just finished peeling that's hot out the boiler. This is the Hanasaki crab. This is the color, the brightness, the orange and reds, the spikes, the eggs just sprouting in the row. Actually, the yellow, the yellow is the row. I don't even know what is. Like two rows, I'm not even sure. And then this is the king crab, which is cooked two different ways, both um, boiled and grilled. And yeah, the crab aroma, the colors, it's like vibrant, it's, it's beautiful. Both of these types of crabs are delicacies in Japan. Both of them are from Japan, from the seas. Uh, and then especially the, the, the red king crab is famous in the winter uh, because the meat is the fullest. And then the Hanasaki crab I think is also uh, there's different seasons, but definitely the winter uh, is one of the best seasons in Japan for crab and it is definitely the middle of the winter. Okay, I think we have to start with the Hanasaki crab since it's this one is fresh, this one is right out of the, the steamer. Um, I don't even I don't even know how to to begin, but we've got the you've got the the legs, you've got the body there. That body looks amazing. You can see the different textures in there. I guess we just start with the body. And yeah, they've all they've scissor cut everything. Oh, oh it just lifts up like a lid. Oh, look at that. Oh, and the like meat is mixed. Oh, look at that. That's like packed with meat. Yeah, that's pretty sharp too. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's a nugget. First bite ever of Hanasaki crab. You can just smell the like crabby aroma of it. Oh, oh wow. That flavor. It's like so sweet and like this hint of like com complex like bitterness, slightly salty. I don't know if it's boiled in salt water. The texture of that meat and like the sweet, wow, that's unbelievable. The freshness, that is, that is like firm. That's extraordinary. What I love about it too, there's absolutely nothing on it, just straight boiled, perhaps in salt water. I'm not totally sure. But like that is so flavorful, so good on its own. It's such an amazing product that you do not need anything. Happy birthday, Cobb. <laughs> I want to immediately taste the red king crab after that just to taste the difference of the meat. So I'll grab a, a leg. <laughs> okay, and red king crab I have had before, but I don't think I've ever had it this fresh this being able to choose my oh look at that oh wow that is just it's thick with meat 
And yeah, what I read is that during this season, it's some of the meatiest red crab that you will have. Look at that, that's just, that's just pure king crab. Oh wow, mm -hmm. That is another speechless, that is stunning. It's so sweet, it's so juicy. Mm. Okay, and that's awesome to be able to taste them both right back to back because you really taste the difference between the two crabs. Of course they are both crab, but the Hanasaki has more of like a, an almost like bitter complexity to it with a really, really vibrant crab flavor. The, the Red King crab is a little more sweet and definitely a lot more juicy. Again, you do not need anything on that. That is the purest. The sweet juiciness is remarkable. Okay, I'm gonna move back over to the Hanasaki now and I wanna try that like floral formation. I think that's from the body section, but that's the meat body section as opposed to the row yet. Check this out, it's like a glove. Oh, it's juicing. I think you can just kinda maybe scoot it with your finger. Oh yes, oh, there's so much meat in here. Okay, back to the Hanasaki crab. You can definitely taste that the, the Red King crab is sweeter in flavor. Okay, they're both good. So unbelievably good. This is some of the Hanasaki crab roe. That's like a chicken nugget sized chunk. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's so rich. Kinda yolky like dry in a good kind of way. That's like almost as much as you possibly want to take in one single bite over here. It's such a like, it's such a rich mouthful. Wow. This one is the other row. I mean, I'm not actually totally sure what what it is, but we'll try that next. From the Hunter Taco Crab. Mm. Oh, that's kind of awesome. That's like, that like bursts with like salty juiciness. Kind of like fish roe. Like almost like poppy seeds, you can feel them squishing beneath, between your teeth. I wanna try the knuckle. Oh. oh, I just got crab juice. There's not really any roe in the Red King crab, but we do have the claws and then the knuckles. And actually the knuckles are some of the best meat. Look at that boneless, shellless nugget. And one of the best things about eating huge crabs like this, the Red King crab especially, is just how meaty it is and how like easy it is to eat. You know, like, there's almost no, well, I mean, they chop it with a, with a, um, with a scissors, but then the meat just slides out, just huge chunks. It is so sweet. Maybe it's a little more firm than the actual legs, uh, but yeah, the texture of the knuckle, it's superb. Next up for the Hanasaki crab claw. Let's see how to navigate this guy. Oh yeah, it is kind of spiky. Oh, that just comes apart. You do want to be careful not to stab yourself on these, this Hanasaki saki crab claw. Okay, I gotta, oh yeah, that reveals the meat. I think you can just kind of pull it out with your finger. Okay, that was not a clean pull out, but that's okay. That claw is like so firm and then Look, it's not like stringy, but more flaky. See, even the inside of that crab is just completely orange, and you, even the little the little spikes are are intact, and um, like the, the, they they go into the mold. The shell is like the mold um, of the, those of all the meat. Hello, guy. Um, I'm gonna try that interior. Like it's like the head lining which they've kind of already like, they've scooped out. I don't know what it is. There's a combination of like, oh yeah, look at that chunk. This is like a combination of headlining plus row plus like tangly bits. It's like helmet lining. Mm. A little bit bitter. You got the row in there, the rich row. And then yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like slightly, Totally different texture. 
and this is one I haven't tried yet, which is the, the grilled Red King crab leg. This is one of the greatest parts, is just opening, opening it up, oh, just to reveal nuggets. Oh, beautiful, again. Absolutely spectacular. And I will just slide my slide my finger down there. What a meal. What a crab meal. And I think that was just the right amount of crab we shared with five. There's five of us that ate those crabs. But that was just spectacular. I don't know if I've ever had an entire meal of crab with nothing, no condiments, nothing extra on it. I didn't even like feel like I wanted to use anything extra on it. It was that good. Hanasaki, you were delicious. And thank you, King Crab. To give you an honest opinion, uh, both are incredibly good and have like different tastes, different flavor profiles, but if I were to just choose one, I think I'd go with the Red King Crab. Yeah, it is not called the King of Crabs for without a reason. It's so juicy, it was so sweet, so fresh, uh, but this is a really good place. They're really friendly here. So I paid 34,000 yen for both of the crabs, which let me just do the conversion. Um, that's a little over 300 US dollars for both both the crabs, which I think is a it's a it was a it, it's a splurge, but a really ah, it's so fresh, it's so good, they're so nice, and that fed five of us. <laughs> Not only do they have seafood here, but also fruits and vegetables, and this market is well known for their melons. And it's not, unfortunately, it's not melon season, but they do have melons year round. Uh, and Japanese melons are some of the most premium melons in the entire world, so I got a slice. Oh, it's cold. Mm. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that is a perfect thing after you eat a bunch of crab. It's so juicy, it's so like refreshing. And that's like, yeah, that's like icy cold from being outside. Oh, all the juiciness. Mm. It's like sweet, but like a harmony of sweetness. Oh. It's really good, but really cold. Oh yeah, that melon was so juicy that it like made my hand all wet and now my hand is like frozen. <laughs> okay, uh, the next place that we're gonna go, I think we're just gonna step into, it's, it's one of the most famous places, but it really is a legendary place. And even though it's, it attracts like tourist buses, that's the same place that we, we saw right as we entered, um, they really do say it has amazing, incredibly fresh seafood. And it's just like a, it's an iconic seafood restaurant of Hokkaido, of Sapporo. Oh, seafood market on the bottom floor. They have a lot of live seafood, they have more crabs, they have basically everything. And then on the top floor is a dining room where you can order food, so I think we're gonna go straight for the dining room. We ate the crabs in the morning, but now it's just about lunchtime, so there is a line. I wanna eat here mainly because it's such a legendary place and the seafood does look incredibly fresh. Uh, and people say good things about this place. So. Everything is so organized, staff are friendly, it's like a, it's like a happy seafood palace. <laughs> Okay, the wait was not that long. That was just like a, a 10 minute wait. We got a table. Oh, hi, Micah. Check out this menu. Oh, wait, there's another one. What a beautiful, beautiful laminated menu with all the different bowls that they offer. And mainly what people come here to eat are the different selection of uh, donburi rice bowls topped with seafood. Every time 
time I see uh, a rice bowl like this, Japanese style, and the, the different varieties of seafood, the colors, it just looks like a blooming flower. And I love the way it's displayed. It's so not only delicious, but beautiful to look at. Just, well, another thing is that when you pick it up, you can feel that the seafood is cold, but then you can feel on the bottom how the rice is still warm. And so that's the, another thing about this is is the, the contrast of uh, temperatures in your mouth at the same time. And I think maybe I'll take off my, should I take off my hat? No, I should not take off my hat for this meal. <laughs> okay, I think it's okay to leave your hat on here. I see other people eating with their hats on too. What to begin with, that is always the main question. I think I will start with that, those, those, that salmon eggs, they're just glistening and calling my name. And I'm gonna reach down. They gotta be eaten with a lot of rice, a good ratio. I love the, the contrast of temperatures, the cool seafood with the warm rice. Um, the rice is sticky and gooey, and then those salmon eggs just, just pop with that like briny liquid onto the middle. And then I'll just add a little bit of this to each bite. I'm going to go for the uni next. So sweet, just with that wonderful like nuttiness. Salmon is next. These ones are scallops. Mm. Okay. Scallop is awesome. So soft, so sweet. Not slimy at all. Okay. That wasabi went up my nose a little bit. I love it. Revolving around again. Oh yes, it's time for the for the tuna. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Slightly warm, so pure, just like butter all the way through. I'm not totally sure what this is. Maybe some kind of like a surf clam. Oh yeah, that has a crunch to it, and then follow that with some rice. And then finally, oh yeah, okay, this is squid maybe? Squid, you? Mm, mm. It's slightly slimy, but like it chews and you can you like taste like the sweetness coming out of it with every bite. Okay, and then finally the crab. Haven't had any crab yet today. I like it both with the soy sauce and without. Um, it does definitely enhances the seafood, the raw seafood. But again, like the freshness, the sweetness of the natural seafood is what stands out. And really, you, you really don't need anything. And then finally for my last bite, it's a raw shrimp and you can just see the transparency. You can almost see just how, yeah, it's gonna be sweet. I always leave the shrimp for the end. Oh, that is sharp. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, that might be the best bite of the entire bowl. It's so sweet. The texture is like almost like sticky and gummy. And then, oh, wow. That's just tasty. That is awesomely, awesomely fresh and just so sweet. What, what amazed me is how friendly that market is. And it's like low key, it's friendly, people are nice. The seafood is so fresh, it's so vibrant, it's so colorful. The colors just pop. This is the place to come in Sapporo for crab and for amazing seafood. And really, yeah, when you're in Sapporo, when you visit Sapporo, it is a must visit place if you love to eat. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from cold winter Sapporo and I will see you on the next video.